maimintay natin sa isipan natin, sa puso natin, ang pagsunod ay hindi partial, kundi ito'y full. Hindi delay. Pangalawa. I call it tight exchange. Tight exchange. Tight exchange. Bakit tight exchange? Until now, maraming mga Kristiyano na nag-struggle pa rin sa pagbibigay ng kanilang ikapo. And not only that, sometimes if you are struggling, in giving your offerings, how much more sa pagbibigay mo ng iyong ikapo? Nag-struggle ka na magbigay ng, ng offering, eh, paano ka pa hindi ka mag-struggle sa tithes? Pinipili mo yung pinakamaliit na coins para pang offering. Now, gusto kong may, may paliwanag ito ngayong hapon, bakit ang tithe exchange will release your blessing and unblock you and block your blessing if you are not doing this. There are two ways paano ka magbibigay ng iyong ikapo. There are two there are two uh, system which you need to identify. Sister Arlene, saan area ka? Anong ways ang ginamit mo? Bakit nablock yun ang blessing mo? Akala mo, Sister Divine, nagbibigay ka ng tithes mo. Laging release ang blessing para sa'yo. If you are using this system or way of giving your tithes, nakablock yun pa rin ang blessing mo. Number one, I want to share it quickly. Number one, you give your tithes because you love God and honor Him. If you are in this area, you give tithes because you love God and honor Him. This is the first system. May pangalawa, you give tithes because you obey the law. I want you to understand this one carefully. Saan area ka, saan system ka ngayon nagbibigay ng tithes? Do you give your tithes because you love God and honor Him? Or you give your tithes because the law tells you that you need to give your tithes? There's a big difference here. And I want to explain it to you. Turn with me in the book of Genesis 14. And it's very, very important. Genesis 14, 18 to 20. Genesis chapter 14, verse 18 to 20. Sabi ho nito, Then Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was priest of God most high, and he blessed Abraham, saying, Blessed be Abraham by God most high, creator of heaven and earth, and blessed be God most high, who delivered your enemies into your hand. Then Abraham gave him a tenth of everything. Tingnan nyo maigi ha, basahin nyo. And I want you to receive the revelation today. In this scripture, Genesis 14, 18 to 20, the first thing Melchizedek, de, Melchizedek did, bini-bless niya muna si Abraham. Melchizedek, the high priest, released the blessing first, then after that, Abraham gave the tithes. So there was time exchange. Melchizedek, the high priest, released the blessing, and then after he received the blessing, he released the ten, all the ten, all the all the blessings that he received. Now, tignan mo natin. Nagbibigay mo si Abraham, not because the law tells him to give a ten to the Lord. 
Makikita nyo ang difference. Nagbibigay si Abraham ng tithes kay Melchizedek because of his love and honor for the Lord. Hello? So, hindi ka muna magbibigay ng, ng iyong tithes, ng giving, unless you are being blessed by God. Hello? Hindi, hindi ka ito torture ng Lord, akin na yung tithes mo kung wala kang trabaho. Akin na yung uh, tithes mo kung wala kang nakangasang pagpapala. He will make you. He will make sure that you. He will bless you first, and after that, he will ask you to give your tithes and your offering. But you must understand. Ano pa yung system na ginamit mo? Do you just give your tithes and offering because you obey the law, or you love God and honor Him? Ito ang difference niyon. So nagbibigay si Abraham because the honor and love. Wala ng pastor. Wala ng Walang law na nagsasabi kay Abraham, magbigay ka na ikaw po. It comes from his heart. And the second thing, parang ganito ko yun eh. I have son and daughter, brother Manny. Mahal ko sila. Nobody could tell me, or even my wife, Bigyan mo sila ng ganito. Yabot mo sila ng ganito. Di ba? As a father, or as a mother, because you love them, kusang loob mo silang bibigyan. Hello? Because you love them, because you love God, it, it, the motive of your giving should be, comes from your heart. Because you honor them, you honor God, and you love God. But the second thing, If you give God because you obey the law, this is the danger. Put down that in Hebrews chapter seven, verse five. Hebrews chapter seven, verse five. Hebrews chapter seven, verse five to nine. Now the law requires descendants of Levi who became who become priests to collect a tenth from the people. That is their brothers even though their brothers are descended from Abraham. This man however did not trace his descent from Levi yet he collected a tenth from Abraham and blessed him who had the promise. And without a doubt The lesser person is blessed by the greater. In the one case, a tenth is collected by men who die, but in other case, by him who is declared believing. And one might be say, Levi who collect a tenth paid ten through Abraham, because when Melchizedek met Abraham, Levi was still in the body of the ancestor. I explain ko yon. Nung nagbibigay ko ng ika po si Abraham, wala pa siyang anak. Wala pa siyang sin. Lahat ng 12 tribes of Israel nasa loob pa ng kanyang sinapupunan, sa kanyang sin, sa opari, sa, sa kanyang sperm cell. Lahat ng sin. Ang sinabi niya rito, sa verse 10, because When Melchizedek met Abraham, Levi was still in the body of his ancestor. Ibig sabihin, Brother Noel, nung nagbigay ka ng tithes na hindi pa pinanganak si, si Noel at saka si, si Vince, nagbibigay na ng tithes ang mga anak mo. They are under your seats. They are covered. When God released the blessing unto your life, They were also blessed by God. Pinagpala na sila ng Diyos. Ngayon, sabi niya rito, nung lumabas na ang mga Levites, ang sin ni Abraham, sila ngayon ang nagbigay ng law na they need to collect 
a 10% 